we're going to talk about Yash, um, <clears throat> and this is coming in from Times of India, and it's all it's all about. Uh, it feels uh, wrong to uh, say Yash. It should not, be rocking star Yash. Yeah, not um, <laughs> with that, correct that. Uh, with that amazing head of hair in this article, John. Fantastic head of hair. Well, you've certainly been blessed. Um, in the follicle uh, department. I was going to say recast, but it's not so much a recast because the original actor um, didn't want to do this. Uh, who was obviously been horrific. I, I think um, Roshan? yeah I think because um, it was more of a typecast thing he was concerned about John but uh, I'll, I'll read the article he seems you. to take it tight horrific. I've it's, never seen any of his movies yeah. I'm aware of his name because he is a superstar in India Yeah. but he seems to really get tanned by and, and that's criticised for people outside yeah. of Scotland by certain film fans over in India they, they seem to have a bit of a, a raging boner for this guy <laughs> I don't really understand it. He looks charismatic. He's well built. He reminds yes, me he of uh, your man from the MCU. Um, plays um, what's his name? I'll bring him up. Uh, <laughs> action star. He's he's in all these films as an action star. I can't remember his name. He's he's basically in the Captain America films. Uh, Rumlow. I can't remember the actor's name. Yeah, Frank Grillo. Yeah, yeah. Grillo. That's who he puts me in yeah, mind of. I think we've probably reacted to him, John, and that's the man's jacked I, out I his probably mind. said that. That's who he looks like. He's jacked out his mind. Look at the size of the yeah. arms. He is a fucking monster. Yeah. But what look do you at expect from that this guy? picture next to him, John. How chilled I mean, does this Steven man look? Yash is <laughs> a joke. I, I'm actually personally offended. <clears throat> By the fact that he can grow a beard like that and also have that, that hair. hair it's like incredible, the isn't it? Yes. It's, it's Wait, like the same sort of. The, the, what's on his beard is the same yeah. what's on the top of his head. It's just. Yeah, you know. I, had, I had hair at one point and I couldn't grow a beard. I, I can grow a beard now and I've no hair. It's like, the fuck? <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> You're not getting both. <laughs> this man's got both. Yeah. It fucking sickens me. So uh, the headline, John, as you can see there, is Will KGF star Yash replace. Uh, is it Ritic, Roshan? Is that how you I say it? I don't know then? if it is. I think it may be Ritic. Uh, yeah. I'm saying horrific and it's that's not right. Horrific. <laughs> He's horrific. I think as, it's Ritic. As yeah. uh, Ravan and Natesh Tiwari's uh, Ramian. Uh, and this is, here's what we know. This is what... Uh, you fucking searched that up, haven't you? <laughs> Pronunciation. I haven't done. I just, I always think H's are silent. Yeah. I just can't say yeah, I think you're it, bang you know? on. It's, it's like uh, Haristo, Stoichkov. Yeah. Hey, people say Haristo I'm like it's not it's Risto Risto, surely Risto. I don't know yeah. um, that's no, just the way I would say it but, yeah. Uh, yeah Bow Wow filmmaker Nitesh Tiwari has been wanting to bring uh, Ramian <laughs> on the silver <laughs> screens <laughs> it was earlier reported that the producers were in talks with, what are you laughing at <laughs> fucking ad <laughs> night diet where are you from Glasgow I'll, 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 I'll read, read, read this in a minute John but I, I've got to make fuck? first of all I've I'm got, not a woman I've got to make this clear this is John's screen browser this not is mine screen browser. this is my screen browser and I have to make it clear if you've not noticed I'm not a woman <laughs> and if you've even if you perhaps noticed I'm not fat we'll try that just using this one simple trick I'm not fat I, I mean I'm chubby for my standards but I'm not fat I fucking look 12 stone I don't need to lose weight. <coughs> oh, this is going to be interesting to clip. Uh, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I'll start again. <laughs> it's come up mine as well now. <laughs> I wasn't there a minute ago. <laughs> What's going on? This is the. It's the. It's obviously connected to your. Um, your area. Your, your mm, internet yeah. down the stair, John. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, incredible! But anyway, yeah, that, yeah. Um, John, I, I thought I'd get by this sentence. I thought I, I was doing very good, and I'm going to make a total ass of it again. Uh, <laughs> oh, you shit again! You're all laughing your asses off. <laughs> <laughs> that was Eric Idle, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah, Bow Wow filmmaker Natesh Tiwari oh, has been wanting to bring Ramen on this, the silver screen. <laughs> it was earlier <laughs> reported that the producers were in talks with uh, Ritik Roshan and Ranbir Kapoor to play Ravan and Ram in the film. However, it turns out that uh, Ritik has turned down the offer as he does not wish to play another negative role after Vikram Veda. Uh, reports suggest that Natesh oh, yeah, yeah, Tiwari yeah. and producer Madhu Mantina have now turned to KGF star Yash for the role. Uh, Yash has been reading scripts and has narrowed down four or five potential and one of them is Ramian, uh, reports Pink Villa. That's another one of the websites we go to. Uh, the producer-director duo has announced their plans 
of adapting the Indian epic Ramayan for the big screen for the global audience in 2019. It had been touted to be one of the most ambitious projects of Indian cinema. While Ranbir has shown interest in the project, he is yet to sign the dotted line. Ranbir's the man from, uh, your man from Brahmastra, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. the one yeah. with, um, I was pointing his name, Christ, the one from KGF Chapter 2. Oh uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah you know, the guy with silver hair. I always forget his name. Um, I can't remember John. But uh, if the casting, Shut. if the casting of the film comes through, Ramian will go on the on the floors by summer this year. The port's further stated. Meanwhile, Natasha Dewari is currently shooting his film uh, ba- Bow Wow with uh, Varun Dewan and Janvi Kapoor. Speaking about collaborating with Tewari, Janvi has told PTI, Natish sir has really spoiled me. Working with him was such a dream. He has such clarity and has got the words, uh, world's wisdom to offer. He is the most dignified man I've ever met. I was in awe of him as a director and as a person. And when a director like him believes in me to cast me in his film, and when I perform for him and he says, uh, the take is good, the belief made me believe in myself a lot more. Uh, John, we were talking about um, that as well. Um, those sort of simple words, how much that confidence that could give actors. Yeah. And I saw uh, when um, your man from uh, Data, uh, from the Goonies and Temple of Doom, who's in... Kihai Kwan. Yeah, that's the man. I uh, was saying the same thing about Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, saying you read that really good, and I was really nervous getting into that. Obviously, that um, is it the first read they call it uh, when they read the, the the script, and I was so nervous. And just getting that from one of your peers just goes a long way. And I can see that um, being that from that quote there, John. But I'm um, just getting back to Yash. Uh, we don't know too much of him out with the KGF series. Um, He's, he's such, uh, like Sharik Khan, he's, it's this on-screen charisma that sort of carries him across um, an action film and makes it more than just an action film, if you know what I mean. And I think that's what I got from KGF Chapter 1, more than ch- Chapter 2. I still like Chapter 2, but there's something about this guy um, from the kickoff when we first started watching Indian film, and it was all about him and his presence on screen. I'd never seen that before. In any action films from the West, to have that kind of same charisma. It was just Tom Cruise, isn't it? When you think of it. Yeah, I mean, but even Tom Cruise is is is. is I don't want to say he's more than just an action star. He's he's there's there's something about Tom Cruise that being a Tom Cruise film where it, when I got into seeing a KGF film, I wasn't going into see because of our perspective coming from yeah. the West. I wasn't going to go and, oh, I can't wait to see this because of Yash. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I know what to expect from Tom Cruise, and when I get to see a Tom Cruise film, I know what I'm getting. When I went in to see this, it was just, this is an action film, it looks pretty good, I liked the trailer. Don't know anything about this guy. Once I saw the film, I went, that film was great, but it was even greater because of him. It was just so charismatic, and just delivery of his lines, and he looked incredible in the film as well, yeah. and a great dancer. I don't know if he did the singing or not. Yeah, I don't think he did the singing, uh, but yeah. Stephen, yeah, you're right. I mean, everything about the guy, the hair... The looks, the stature, the presence. You've seen certain actors in films from India, uh, certainly in trailer reactions, maybe not so much in films we've watched, <clears throat> who are portraying the sort of tough man action lead. And it's not believable. You look at them, you think you can punch away at a paper bag. <laughs> There's no chance. There's no <laughs> he chance. said that there. He could not punch you away. Could punch away. Your <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. There's no fucking way. You're not you believable. <laughs> He's just, they're just not believable yeah. as this tough man. And it goes back to what I says about the Western movie, Predator. Yeah. The Predator. Uh, you've got your man. <laughs> fucking his fucking Holbrook. Name. Boyd Holbrook. Yeah. He's not believable. Yeah. He's not got the gravitas. Nah. He's not got the stature. He's not got the raw physicality. <laughs> Someone like Yash has got all of that. Yeah. He's believable as a hard man. And there's nothing worse. I'm going to go back to another Western quote. <laughs> Liam Gallagher once famously says, it's one thing getting fucking your head kicked in, and I'm paraphrasing by Keith Richards, because he looks like a hard man, but it's another thing getting the shit kicked out of you by a guy wearing sort of fucking prescription glasses and a white suit. And he was speaking about John Lennon. <laughs> KGF, it's one thing getting the shit kicked out of you by some of the hard-looking guys in that movie, but getting fucking mulligated by a guy in a pristine suit 
but he was wearing in a variety of different colours. That's just like yeah. added insult to injury. I forgot about his wardrobe in chapter two. Chapter two. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Not even get a speck of blood on it. Yeah. White suits with like lime green shirts. He's dapper. There's not a hair out of place, and he's absolutely murdering people. That's the type of gravitas he brings to a movie. That's why they're looking at this guy for this replacement or this sort of recast or not recast because you says yourself Rittick didn't want to do it for maybe just another choice because he can come in and do it I've not seen enough I've not seen any of Rittick's if that's how you say it incidentally I'm going to yeah. say Stephen's right I don't I think know. he's bang on <laughs> it's not horrific no. horrific it's terrible <laughs> he's horrific that's <laughs> what yeah. I'm thinking when that pronunciation but from what I've gathered I think he's more of an action hero yeah type of role and we know do, for a fact yeah do you get do the that. actor though do you get the actor's reasons for Absolutely, pulling Steve. out of this Carrie Oman was the same yeah. in the 90s yeah. he was always playing the villain in his action roles and he thought nope I'm not doing that anymore I want to go off and do something else at some point you've got to expand out test your range a bit and do something different so yeah. says he's a butt yeah. of the jokes a lot of the times I've seen comments and they, they seem to go after him yeah. so maybe he, he's doing the right decision here and he's going off and doing something else yeah Yash as well, it seems, I mean, I think Rittick's from up north. So Yash is a sort of Telugu southern Indian actor, so this could be a great chance for him to go up and do a role in a different industry. We've seen VG Safi Pafi doing that. Yeah. Getting up and yeah. trying his hand in different regions. Uh, and can make and him different a roles as well. Can make him a pan Indian. Yeah. Fucking John, we, saw like guy, we saw him as a villain. You know, when he stepped away from that to do the likes of Super Deluxe. Yeah. And he'd previously, obviously before um, the likes of Master, he was doing 96. Yeah. So you've seen a softer side to him that as well. So, um, yeah, I totally get why any actor, not just uh, horrific, um, I think any, <laughs> I think any actor uh, worth their weight in gold wants to flex their acting chops at some point. It's okay staying in that sort of safe zone and just doing the same genre year in, year out. And just picking up the the check at the end of the day, but I really respect any actor that wants to think outside the box and and um, take that risk. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, look, I'm intrigued by the movie. The fact you've the likes of Ranbir Kapoor, who we've dabbled with in terms of trailers. Yeah, I'm still trying to remember that guy's name. Yeah. Wait, it's doing my head in. I'm not sleeping at night. It's it's on the tip of my tongue as well. Yep. It begins with an S, I think. <laughs> We're going to find out in a minute. Fucking hell. Yeah. Sanji do. Sanji. Sanji yeah, do. Yeah, I knew it was an S. Yeah. And I knew it was on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. In fact, he's working with some <clears> a powerhouse like that. A guy who's been involved in the industry for fucking decades. Tells you the kind of gravitas he's got as a young actor. I think he's like 35, 36, Ranbeer. So the names that are floating around this script tells you there's something there in terms of what they're trying to achieve. They're saying it's one of the most ambitious tales that's maybe been getting touted about in recent times in India. So Yeah. Look, man, the, I, I wish you asked nothing but success. I think he's a cool, cool guy. Um, I love what he's done in KGF. He KGF two for me wasn't quite as good as KGF one, but it wasn't down to him. His performance was uh, he was the reason. It was still very enjoyable. Yeah. All of the stuff him and Sanjay Dutt in particular is what made that movie watchable. I, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah. wish him nothing but success. Hopefully he's, he hits it out the ball at the the metaphorical part.